Okay, so the next use case scenario I want to talk about is task, counting the task records related to the contact records. So tasks related to contact. This you cannot do with the out of the box roll up summaries because task is not a detailed record of contact and you can't do too much with task actually but from this um, lookup roll up summaries you can. So what are we trying to do? What is this last IBC date? So last IBC stands for last inbound call inbound call meaning when is the last time the contact call into our organization they call in i don't know whatever they um, need they call in regarding their account regarding anything they want to talk about so when was the last time they call us that's what this is all about so whenever there is an inbound call our call center reps will always log the call as a task, right? It is related to the contact. So basically, we want to know the last task that was created that's related to the contact. So this is the relationship field, the who ID of the task, right? So if you go to um, the task, who ID, field is the relationship field if i go to field and relationships here let me sort it to it's the name here it's the who id so you can search it from here actually so the who id or the name of the contact that's, rela that's related to the task. That is the relationship field, all right? So the who ID is always the relationship field to the contact if you are doing roll up for a contact um, record counting the tasks. So the relationship criteria is I just want to count all tasks which has a subject of IBC or inbound call. Why? This is our own criteria in our organization. So you, you, you might have different subjects depending on how you create tasks. So for our organization, if a contact calls in, a task will be logged or created and the subject will always be IBC or yeah, IBC inbound call. So that's basically it. So you can put the subject as the fields being used is here and the who ID as the subject uh, as the relationship being used there. So what field are we aggregating on the task object is the activity date when the activity was logged, right? So the activity date and then I want to sort it by the activity date descending. And then the aggregate operation would be the first, the first record, all right? So if you have, if this contact have 100 records or 100 tasks, they have been calling in a lot for, the, for this year, we would sort it by activity date descending, meaning the newest one will be on top, right? The newest one will be on top, the oldest one will be at the bottom, and we want to take the first record, which is the first on top record. That's the late, the, the newest or the, yeah, the newest, the newest uh, date. So we put that in the last IBC date field on the parent. So you have to create this custom field first on the parent object, which is contact. So if you see on mine here, on the contact object, if I go to contact here, we have last IBC field, last IBC date. So you have to create this field first. And remember from my previous video, the data type is date, which has to match exactly 
as the data type of this field you are aggregating. So this field is date, therefore this new field you will be creating will also have to have the date data field or data type. So that's it. The first time you create it, you should leave the active checkbox unchecked. So uncheck this first and then save it. Once you save that, you have to deploy or manage child trigger, then deploy it and then activate it. And then you can full calculate right now. All the contact records will be calculated if they have a task with subject IBC. And you can also schedule the calculation once a day or every day or once a week or once a month. However, often you want to calculate this. So similar to this, let's talk about some other stuff. Last successful OBC, pretty much the same thing, right? I just want to share you the use case scenario you can use. The same thing, contact object is the parent, the contact. The child is the task. Now I want to change the subject. It's like, which is a wildcard, OBC, which is outbound call, meaning we are calling them. Our call center reps are calling the contacts we have, thousands upon thousands of them. So if they pick up the phone and they talk with our phone rep, we say it's a successful outbound call. Therefore, it will create a uh, task with the subject OBC successful. And then there's a bunch more words which we can put um, the Emerson as a wildcard character there. This is a wildcard, right? Same field, subject and who ID. And then the same criteria, criteria we want to know the last successful one. The newest one that we called them and they actually pick up the phone and talk with us. So basically everything else is the same. So that's another use case scenario. This is pretty much the same last inbound activity. So this is inbound, not just a call, not inbound call, but inbound activity. Okay, so same contact, task, the same criteria over here, but of course this, uh, the different um, aggregate result field that you have to create as well. But look at the subject here or the, the relationship criteria. So if the subject of the task like IBB, uh, that's, that's our own terminology, IBC or subject like IBE or subject like IBL or subject like what else, IBR, subject like IBW or subject like IBM or subject like IBDAC. So all of these are inbound activity. And then if they have any kind of this task created, we want to know when is the newest one, the newest one, the latest one, right? So the same criteria as we discussed before. Everything else is the same. And that's pretty much it. So next, I want to talk about um, aggregating text field or strings on these opportunity sentences and uh, memo roll up. Okay, I'll see you on the next video. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.